Mm -hmm. Good day, everyone. I'm Reese, and Merry Flipping Christmas! Yes, we really needed that special time after bushfires, a pandemic, cancellation of certain events, and a toilet paper crisis. I think we should take a breather and relax with the little things in life on this wonderful time of the year with snowflakes all around. Except places like here in Australia where it becomes the most hottest time of the year. But regardless, we really needed a little Christmas right now. And what better way to brush up this year by looking at a Christmas special which I'm pretty sure none of you heard about called Jingle Bell Rock. Based on a popular song by Bobby Helms, this animated special first came out in 1995 and was produced by Dick Entertainment, you know, the company that brought these cartoons. This is usually one of those films that are based on a popular song that especially takes a spin on it. And this is exactly one of them. But is it good? Well, that is an answer I have to solve myself. So sit back, relax, grab a nice hot cup of cocoa as we take a look at Jingle Bell Rock. We begin with a music producer named Jerry talking over the phone telling the story of the film. As we transition to Santa's workshop, things are not doing so well for the jolly old Saint Nick. You're broke! But Murray, I'm Santa. How can Santa be broke? When Santa owes more money than Santa has in the bank, Santa is broke. It's over. No Christmas. That's right, folks. Santa Claus is having financial troubles. What the heck's he been spending on? His outfit? It's only fine as it is. While that's going on, we move over to a music department because Santa has that for some reason, don't ask, run by two bigot elves named Art and Richie. This is what, three weeks before Christmas? And we ain't pushed one order through. I had lunch with Louie from Games and Puzzles and he says they're in the same boat. Huh? <laughs> Got the window. That window has a very poor design. I wonder how much it costs to buy it. Three cents? I'm losing circulation here. Where's Buddy with my mittens? <laughs> Where he always is, playing his dumb guitar. Which the only audience he has is the reindeers. And yes, the song begins. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Ah, there it is. The classic song we all know and love. Might as well have a drink while this is playing. Mix and mingle in the jingle and be <coughs> Oh, great. Now it's all over the floor. He keeps trying to suggest a new song he wrote to Art. False! He didn't write the dang thing! Falsely accurate! But, being the jerk music director he is, he simply rejects it. Now go check the stockroom for, uh, I don't know, harmonicas or something. Never mind, Peggy Sue. Art's gotta listen one day. It, is his guitar alive? You know what, I'm never gonna ask. It's Santa magic, probably. But I am gonna question that he named his own guitar. What did he call it? Peggy Sue. Excuse me? Peggy Sue. Oh, ah! Sounds a bit rude! Santa Claus informs his workers that until he can find a way to restore his finance, he has to lay off all of his elves. But Buddy decides that they should go to the real world to get some cash to help Saint Nick. And that's what they simply did. They arrived at Hollywood because that's where all big stars go to, as they have a look around admiring the place. Check these out, Richie! <coughs> An adult joke in a Christmas special. Well, looks like no choice but to play this clip then. That's disgusting! But he finds that a musical talent show is being held at Star Seekers, so all three of them lined up for it. And kindly remember our rules. No shoving, backstabbing, sabotaging, undermining, plagiarizing, and of course, no smoking. Unless you're one of those prick singers like One Direction, Justin Bieber, or Billy Joel, then get the hell out of our property. While Art thinks about how rich he'll be for singing a song, Buddy starts to hear a lovely singing voice coming from behind the bushes, which belongs to a girl named Holly, who is not only having a fear of stage fright, but is also Jerry's niece. No, seriously, I'm not joking. I love to sing, just not in front of people. Listen, you can't let the jitters stop a voice like yours. I'll let you in on my secret. Try using auto-tune. It may sound s**t, but at least you'll make quick bucks. 
Ollie does her audition and manages to make it onto the list. But Art and Richie switch places with Buddy's turn so they can audition for the show, with the only downside being is that their singing is dreadful. Said a trade in his reindeer for a topper. Can't afford the payroll for a reindeer flight. Rudolph was as quiet as a whisper. Even the people's reaction to it are acknowledged that they're bad singers. It's kind of like how we first react to Nickelback's music. But yet, for some reason, they still made it in. How? I think it explains later on. But Buddy is disappointed that the auditions are now closed. Say so long, Peggy Sue. We're going home. Back at the North Pole, the elves gave Santa much of the money they have, but it's still not enough to save his business. It makes you proud to be Santa, but it's not enough to save Christmas. One word, Santa. Timeshare, we could make a fortune. Now, Murray. We cannot make a park that costs money, you moron, and I have none of them as it shows. Oh, 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 I'm depressed. Is that your guitar? Do you play? I used to. My mom makes me play piano, but I'd rather play baseball. We're all gonna play at Grandma's. Sounds great, but I don't watch baseball, because in the North Pole, we don't watch TV that often. Bye! Okay, that was an awkward edit. And I think that kid's face even made it more awkward. He gives the glove to Buddy, which encourages him to go back to Star Seekers, only for his music to be thrown away by Bigot Art. What's this? Jingle bell swing. Hey! Jingle bell my song! Swing. Holly! Buddy? How'd you get my song? This is your song? This is the best thing I ever heard since everything's a drum! So the two went back to Star Seekers to sing Buddy's song, but they hear nearby as they found out on why Art and Richie made it into the finals. It's all set. Uh, Uncle Jerry? I know, because I picked the acts she's up against. They are pathetic. So Holly decides to go, Screw it, I'm not coming out of my room because of a stupid thing you did! As Art and Richie planned that the only way for them to win the competition is to lip sync. Why isn't there a rule about that in the music industry? Like, you could totally see us on a piece of paper that reads, If you lip sync to a song you were singing, then I kill you like a horse! A real person and not fake. After they had their go, Jerry decides that Buddy should take her place on the stage instead of Holly. Go, go! Holly, I won't do it without you! Go! Oh. Never mind. They both sang the song, and since this is the ending, I might as well tell you the rest. The song becomes a hit around the world, Santa's business is through the roof once more, Aunt and Richie have been moved to reindeer duties, and Buddy becomes the new head of the music department. The end. And that is Jingle Bell Rock, and... It's fine for what it is. I mean, this is exactly what you get for something to watch during the holidays. A harmless TV special. The story's pretty basic structure, the characters and the world building are pretty interesting, and the song itself is done quite good. So yeah, I have nothing else to say, but check it out if you will, especially around Christmas. In total, I give this special a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching today's review, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time! Christmas time is once a year, every creature holds it dear, every animal big or small, Christmas means the world to us all. It's once a year, it's Christmas time, when we hear about our